I wanted to come on today to let you know some of the other things that are available when you come to stay at Chichester Self Catering, which should make your holiday a whole heap easier, hassle free, and make you feel really at home. So, have you ever stayed somewhere where you found that the knives weren't sharp in the kitchen, the laundry baskets were broken, um, there weren't any cleaning supplies, and let you need to keep the house clean. Doesn't it drive you absolutely mad? I know. It makes you wish that you hadn't even come. Or worse, um, just puts you in a really bad mood. It just sets you up for meh. <laughs> well, this was the first experience that I had when I rented a house in January in Cornwall whilst I was revising for, with some friends for my finals exams. There were almost no knives and the ones that were there weren't sharp. You couldn't cut a thing with them. It was a nightmare. They were clearly blunt. They were clearly rejects for another house. And the owner clearly was not interested in looking after their guests. It was rubbish. Well, in addition, there was not enough wood for the fire for more than three hours. It was snow on the ground. It was a small cottage right in the middle of... Um, nowhere really in Cornwall so it was a beautiful setting but the cottage hadn't been preheated the damp the beds were somewhat damp the electricity meter ate 50 pence pieces like it was going out of fashion um and yet we were doing our best not to use it um well I learned a lot from that experience as you can imagine and that was over 25 years ago so I've tried to think of ways to make my guests experience as comfortable, enjoyable and fun and hassle free as possible. So in case you don't know who I am, my name is Gail Palmer and I run Chichester Self Catering. I'm also the local osteopath and I also run a company called Great Guidelines for Later Life to help seniors and their families get their life in order, sorted and be able to live their life without regrets with peace of mind so that's a little bit more, more about me so let's let's go on so you know when you're at home where you keep the spare light bulbs you know where the elastic bands are you know that you've got enough pots to cope with a large group for cooking and smaller pots for if you're just doing a, a simple meal for one or two people well my philosophy for my guests is really simple I want your stay to be a success now, that's not always really easy to achieve because everyone has different expectations, but that's what I try for you and your stay when you come to stay at Chichester South Catering. So these are just a few of the measures that I've put in place to make life simpler. At Living Elements, we've got some great new laundry baskets which have legs, so they are able to stand up. So you don't have to bend over to take, put the washing onto the line or take the washing off. It stops the bottom of the basket getting saturated and uh, stops it picking up bits of worm poo or whatever else happens to be on the ground. Um, the washing basket at Live Nature's Elements can get rested um, on one of the outside chairs or the outside picnic table, so that's less of a problem. There's always a good supply of dishwasher tablets um, it, uh, for the dishwashers. There's always liquid soap and washing up liquid um, in each of the basins. And there are plenty of cleaning supplies. How are you supposed to keep the house clean, tidy and hygienic if you don't have the cleaning supplies available? We use uh, environmentally friendly cleaning supplies as much as possible. Uh, they are made by a company called GNLD and you can get more supplies uh, to take home with you by uh, calling in at the clinic or using the online shop and that's found at www.livingelements.co.uk and then you can find the shop from there. So we use a Super 10, which is a heavy duty cleaner, brilliant in the kitchen, bathroom. I use it outside for washing the car. Um, and there's a, a light duty cleaner as well. And we also use their G1 washing powder because it's uh, environmentally safe. It breaks down within um, a couple of days and it keeps the machines cleaner. So uh, the washing machines don't break. Hooray. <laughs> um, other things that I include 
uh, in the houses. There's always a supply of makeup remover pads and cotton buds. Um, one of the reasons for that is if you get mascara on the towels or the linen, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to get off. And if I can't, I'm afraid that you will end up having to pay for a replacement. So that's included. Um, there's a plentiful supply of black bin bags for household rubbish. Um, and there are great um, handouts so that you know exactly what can go into the red recycling bins as well to make life so much easier for you. Pretty much most things, to be fair. There's always a good supply of cutlery and crockery so that you can load up the dishwasher and you haven't got to wash immediately before you need to have those things again. There's a box of bits and bobs in each of the houses. So this includes things like spare batteries for the uh, fire alarms. It includes elastic bands, cellar tape or gaffer tape. Um, it includes safety pins when the skirt breaks and you still need to go out. Um, they're invaluable. My guests love them. <laughs> if you do use things from them, please replace them because uh, I don't always check all that often. There's things like spare, spare light bulbs. Um, and if you don't want to change the light bulb, <laughs> not necessarily ask a man, um, let me know uh, so I know which one's uh, faulty and I can do it for you before the next guests arrive. Um, there's toy boxes for kids and uh, in the actual welcome pack, because all of this is really part of your welcome pack, um, uh, we try to personalise things depending on the age of the children who are staying. So uh, if you let me know that, then I can get things planned in advance. Same goes for hen parties. One of the biggest um, plus bonus things is the house handbook. Now, that might seem um, a little bit of a strange thing to say. Yes, it includes details about the house and how to use a washing machine. If you've got the hot tub, how to use a hot tub. But it includes a mass of insider local knowledge so that you can make the most of your holiday uh, without finding out too late in the day and not being able to plan things. Um, it's obviously got all those emergency phone numbers in it. It's got ideal places to go shopping or uh, things to do if you've got a special interest. So you might be interested in antiques. There's articles on that. You might be interested in wheelchair accessible uh, things to do or stuff to do with kids. So go have a look. A lot of that information is also on the website blog. So please have a look at that. There's a lot a lot of blogs on there and I hope you'll find those useful. So if you've forgotten something and you think that it's important um, for either yourself or for other guests, please let me know, okay? If I don't know about it, I can't do anything about it. If something goes wrong and, you know, at the end of the day, stuff does break, things do happen, I will do my best to rectify it as, poss as quickly as possible if I'm able to. But if I don't know about it and you've left and you then complain, there is nothing I can do. I really want to make your holiday a success and I need to have your partnership and help in order to do that too. So if all of that's been helpful, please put a comment in the uh, down below. Um, and I look forward to welcoming you to Chichester South Catering where your holiday is uh, important to me. And to have it be as successful as possible is really important to me. So that's Gail Palmer from Chichester Self Catering signing off. And uh, I hope to see you soon. If you need more information, the place to go to is chichesterselfcatering.com. Take care. Bye for now.